Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you how to take awesome car photos. I have a special formula that I want to share with you that will give you seven steps to making an awesome, unforgettable car photo. But without further ado, here's how to get unforgettable car photos. Let's go. You may be wondering why I'm out here in the cold, in the wind. I'm in Joshua Tree National Park. I'm here to get some uh, star photography, nighttime photography, and there's a special location that I want to take you to to talk about car photography, surprisingly, out here in the middle of the desert. And I want to share with you seven tips guaranteed to help you improve your car photography and capture really special images. So I have an acronym that I developed, and it's C-L-E-A-R-E-R, clearer and it helps me remember how to get the most amazing shots for uh, car photography. We're up near Barker Dam in Joshua Tree National Park and I'm hiking to a spot that has to do with car photography and it's going to be a cool thing, a uh, cool spot to show you to give you some tips and okay, so I'm going to share that with you once we get up to the spot that we're hiking to but take a look at these massive amazing Joshua trees so beautiful all right, let's keep hiking. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, welcome to the special place that I wanted to take you to. It is actually this car right here. So this is a um, an old something or other, 1920s truck it looks like. Um, you can kind of see uh, the engine is here, the wheels are here. <laughs> it's mostly here, but it's mostly gone. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, so I was gonna tell you about my method for shooting car photography out here um, while we stand right in front of this old wreck. All right, so the first step in uh, shooting a car um, photo that's absolutely amazing uh, the acronym is clearer. The C stands for circle. So you want to circle the car and look at all the angles of the car. So you're basically scouting out what story you want to tell. Is it about the, you know, the, the front end approaching the camera and that sort of powerful stance or the rear wheel uh, moving away from the camera? Is it the side, the profile view? But you want to circle the car and get a sense of all the dimensions and perspectives and shapes that you could um, use to compose a great frame. So circle the car and kind of know all the angles that you could possibly shoot from. That's step one. All right, so step two. Step two is the lines of the car. So the lines of the car are very important. Cars are linear objects. And so you wanna use the lines to create leading lines to draw the viewer into the photo, into the image. So you, you wanna think, is it the line of the grill that you wanna um, focus on to lead the viewer into the, the image? Is it the line, the chrome strip down the side? Uh, is it the, the line across the, um, the bumper across the back? Is it the line of the windshield? But look for those leading lines in this linear object to create leading lines into, into the center of the image. And that's really important. So you're gonna use the, the lines of the car, leading lines to lead the, the viewer into the, the center of the image or, or the center of the focal point. But this is also part of parking the car for composition. So you wanna angle the car. You wanna not just shoot straight on or straight profile, but you wanna create an angle. And if you think about when you circle the car, there are 360 degrees all the way around the car. So there is a special unique angle, one of 360 different degrees that you can position that car so it faces the camera lens in a very attractive, special, unique way. And then look for those lines in that car to lead the viewer into the focus. All right, so uh, step one, you've circled the car, you look for the exact angle you want. You've angled the car and you've lined up the lines, draw the viewer into the, the center part of the image. Now it's time to decide what is the exact focus point that you want on the car. So the car is a long linear object and so you have to decide is it the, the hood emblem, is it the rear view mirror or the side mirror, is it uh, the windshield, is it there's somebody standing next to the car. Where are you going to put the focal point? Now generally you probably want, you know, maybe 
Maybe you want the whole car in focus because you're trying to show the power and the beauty of the whole car and if you have a shallow depth of field um, it might be better for a macro shot or a detail shot but if you want the whole car in the photo you probably want all in focus so you're looking at f uh, 5.6 or f8 something like that um, now if that's the case you have to decide where you can actually put the focal point and here's my tip for you is pick something that is a point of power or prestige so you're picking the the hood ornament you're picking the um, side mirror um, you're picking the face of the person who's standing next to the car um, you want to draw attention to and make the the crispest sharpest part of this image uh, a very specific strategic object so it's a point of power or prestige that's step three so you're going to pick the exact focal point so it's C, circle the car, L, line up the lines to draw the viewer in, E, pick the exact focal point where you want the most attention drawn in this image. All right, next, you're gonna angle up, you're gonna shoot up. So you want to, to have the car take up the most space against the horizon. So if you're standing, you're usually looking down at the car, you need to get that lens low, get that camera low, and shoot up. So you want to shoot up so that the car takes up a greater space along the horizon. And that gives it, somebody uh, told me it gives it uh, the car a mean appearance, but it also gives it a dominant appearance, a, a large imposing appearance. You want it to dominate that frame. So angle up, shoot up, so your car looks awesome against the horizon. So we've circled the car, we've lined up the angles, we picked the exact focal point that we want for our image and we're angling up, we're shooting up and the next step is that we wanna backlight the car, we wanna rim light. And so what we wanna do is put the car against the sun or the largest source of light um, in the frame and so this is gonna provide some drama and some outline and gonna make the image pop. And so um, this is um, also you have to think about your exposure and you have to think about your post-processing options, of course, to get the front side of the car light. Um, I'm actually gonna use strobes. That's kind of my approach uh, to make it pop. But you want a backlight or a rim light so that the car, the silhouette of the car is powerful against the horizon. All right, next you're gonna unclutter the background. So this means as the car is there against the horizon and you're shooting up, you're gonna look for, are there telephone poles? Are there telephone wires? Are there trees sticking up out of the uh, silhouette of the car that you're gonna have to remove either in post or can you slightly reposition the car to unclutter the background? So this is a one final step, kind of a sweep before you do the absolute one-two punch of the last step that gives you an amazing car photo. All right, now for the best tip of all, this is the secret sauce. This is what makes your image stand out, makes it world class. And this is called place the punch. And so what you wanna do is, remember the focal point that we chose in step number three, the exact point of focus? Now what we're gonna do is leverage the contrast between that focal point, which is on the silhouette of the car, and the brightest point in your image, which is the rim light, or usually it's the sun coming from behind. So you wanna sort of line those up so that you have the exact focal point um, right in front of, almost blocking the source of light, the sun. And if you place the punch right there, the rim light, the source of the rim light, right uh, behind the exact focal point, you'll have an amazing image for sure. So those are my tips. Thank you for joining me out in Joshua Tree. Uh, it's freezing out here. <laughs> But it's really fun, and this is a fun uh, car to, to talk about shooting car photos with. So uh, like and subscribe if you've liked anything about this video. Uh, I appreciate uh, if you would leave a comment and tell me what you like. And shoot some car photos and share them with me. I'd really be interested in seeing uh, what you create. And I'll show you a couple examples of car photos that I have created using this approach. So thank you. Until next time, peace. All right, so another thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you backlight your car.